All right, so Dragon Ball Legends actually listened to us. I mean, this is crazy, guys. This is great news. I mean, I'm not taking this as bad news. I'm taking this as great news, a step forward, especially for the Dragon Ball Legends team because it takes a lot for them to actually address this publicly. And uh, that's exactly what they did here. I just literally woke up to this message here. I'm like, I need to record a video on this and dissect because this video, there's a, there's a lot to go over in this video, guys. I mean, uh, yeah, I I'm actually really proud of the community and I'm proud of... Uh, the Dragon Ball Legends dev team to go public and actually fix the issues uh, and uh, concerns of the player base itself. But there's still a lot more to fix here, guys. So, uh, but this is a great step forward. So let's just read what they said here. Uh, they said, we have received a lot of comments from players regarding the adjustments of rewards from bonus battles that we implemented this week. So that's crazy for them to actually, I've never seen uh, Dragon Ball Legends go live. I mean, not go live, but... Uh, just pretty much write this publicly. We have received a lot of comments from players regarding the adjustments of the rewards. So they, they're actually talking about, Hey, we've listened to your comments. You know, we, we, we are taking your constructive criticism or whatever the case may be. Some people like to review and I'm fine with that. It doesn't matter. I don't care. But, uh, w w what matters here is that they're actually listening. So that's a big W for Dragon Ball Legends right there. Uh, it goes on to say, we would like to explain, the, uh, our original intent as well as uh, the course of action we'll be taking moving on forward. Now, there, this is a huge move. I'm telling you guys right now, this is a huge move. Not, not only because they're actually fixing the problem, which is great in itself. That's a huge W. But I would say another W for them to just go public and say, all right, guys, you know what? This is what we're going to do to fix uh, what you guys have been complaining about. So this is great, guys. I feel great for always making these videos. I'm not going to start making these videos every time. Uh, Dragon Ball Legends does a hiccup uh, because it leads to great results. I mean, because it, it, you, I, I did my part, you did your part uh, by going to their social media. But, uh, you know, everybody has their own way of doing things. And my way was um, approaching it via video. And uh, some people like reviewing, which is okay. I don't, I don't care. I'm not, you, you're your own man. You get to do what you want to do. Whatever way you want to uh, approach of fixing the game, that's fine with me. But um, this is a big W. I'm not looking at the bad stuff. I'm looking at the good stuff. This is a big W. So, there's a lot here. So let's read why. First of all, the reason why they adjusted it and what they're going to do about it, right? So reasons behind the adjustments by obtaining energy tanks in bonus battles and repeating a, uh, this process in a loop. Uh, it was possible to obtain more guild points in other types of content affecting the guild ranking system. All right. So two things. One. Is guild ranking even a thing? I mean, do we even get anything off of that? Like special? Like we barely get anything off of that, but it's fine. That's one thing. And number two, that might lead up to guild versus guild or a guild revamp uh, due to the fact that they're, that they're taking action on this now uh, because uh, Toshi says springtime, we're going to get a brand new event. So that might affect guild as well. So keep an eye out for that. I just want to keep you guys in the loop with that. Uh, it goes on to say due to, uh, due to this, the difference in guild points in guild ranking was greater than anticipated, uh, which was deemed unfair. As a result, rewards from bonus battles will no longer uh, contain energy tanks. So people were able to farm, I guess, um, uh, a way to get more guild points through uh, energy. So uh, and just repeating uh, th that cycle. And I think it's the collection side of the guild where uh, the more you farm, the more you use energy, the more. Um, I guess there's like some kind of loophole there for some kind of uh, certain clans where they just spammed and spammed and spammed uh, energies. So that's the case there. Now, this is where it's cool, guys. These course of action, what are they going to do about this, right? So as of, okay, so I love this. I love it when they say this. As we have received comments from players. I love that. I love that because they're, they're saying, hey, we're listening to you. So, I mean, it's pretty much a first they're saying this, but it's a step forward. But I'll take that as a W, like I said. Uh, from players saying that their amount of energy has seen a decrease. Uh, we will make it so that uh, you will be able to obtain energy tickets from other pre-existing stages. You will also be, uh, be able to obtain energy from uh, each Let's Fight battle after the next update. Uh, we will also be making uh, Let's Fight Battle 3 a, per a permanent event. So this right there, I was just mentioning in my video. Hey. Get one of these events and make it permanent. I mean, just get one of these and make it set in stone. And hopefully they listen to me there. I mean, I'm not going to take credit for that, obviously, because it's it's us as a whole community that's, that's been bombarding them. Maybe they had this 
uh, pre-existing before uh, they decided to take out the energy tickets from the battle bonus. But I don't think that's the issue, guys. I, th I think we pushed them to do this. I really think we as a community pushed them to do this because uh, it, it's, it's a, I mean, it's a pretty big deal because why would they take that out and not add this uh, right away? I mean, the, the update was just now. Why are they, why are they saying next update? They should have added this on that update so they don't get all this backlash, uh, backlash of feedback. But I think they're only doing this because they actually got a whole bunch of complaints and stuff like that. So that's just my take on that. So it gets better, guys, because energy tanks are available from Let's Fight uh, uh, Battle 1, Battle 2, Battle 3. So Battle 1, we get 5. Battle 2, we also get 5. And then Battle 3, we get 10. So that's, uh, uh, I'm sorry, that's 20 energy tickets right there daily. That's actually going to be more than what we used for the battle bonus, uh, kind of, if you guys aren't into farming so many Zenkais. Because when we were farming so many Zenkais, we were farming the souls. And the souls actually drained a lot of our energy. So this is a step in the forward, uh, in the right direction, in my opinion. But uh, it goes on to say, we sincerely apologize for any confusion or inconvenience this has caused. Uh, all comments will be taken into consideration as we work to make the game better. And we hope, blah, blah, we hope to continue to play Dragon Ball Legends. So all comments will be taken into consideration uh, as we work harder to make the game better. So I'm pretty sure the next thing, we, I mean, we've been, we've been, we've been saying this, but the next thing um is pretty much what we've been saying there's no events or anything like that uh and i am pretty sure they're gonna take a step forward in that direction and um I, I i hope they were somehow to address that i mean they're not really addressing it by making uh let's fight uh tournament i mean because that event right there uh it's a cool event but it's not an event where we can farm crystals or anything like that it's a cool event to, to have that's actually a highly requested um uh, thing that we've been asking for a long time to make battle three a set in stone event uh, for some reason they just decided to bring that in and out every once in a blue moon which to me makes no sense it's not even that much of a special event where you have to bring it out once in a blue moon i'm so glad not only are they bringing this back but also adding 10 energy tickets we can farm daily off of that so 20 energy tickets right there but i'm not gonna lie to you guys there's still a long way to go uh we still need more energy these little 20 tickets here guys a day is a good step in the right direction like i've mentioned but there is so much more we have to do in terms of energy tickets and events because energy tickets is still an issue, especially if you bring out uh, this Kakarot event, the Andrews 21 event, all these events, we can't keep up. Even with this, guys, even with this 20 tickets here, we can't keep up with that. So hopefully they also add uh, energy tickets onto other stuff because that's the main thing with me, guys. They need to add energy tickets on, on other stuff to actually make a big impact. They're making a splash, but I want a huge wave. I want a huge impact in energy tickets. I, I don't want, I don't want to have to like, like try to have to look for energy tickets all the time. You know, I, I just don't want to have to go and do that. And I hope they don't monetize energy tickets as well, because uh, they're, that's, you know, it's a gotcha game and I understand they have to monetize stuff to, to keep the game alive. But uh, in the end of the day, I really hope energy is not a way of monetization because there's no need. I mean, energy is a form of us to play the game, you know, like it's, it's just the way we play the game. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be this video here, guys. If you guys did enjoy the video, a thumbs up would always be greatly appreciated. And if you guys are not subscribed, subscribe because I cover everything Dragon Ball Legends. And I will have a banger video for you guys either later on today again or tomorrow. So make sure you guys turn on those post notifications to see when it goes live. And I'll definitely catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.